Hi again, this is Andy, KE4GKP. Welcome back to the Ham Whisperer and Lesson 10 in the International Morse Code course. In this lesson, we're going to be covering the number 6, the comma, the slash, and the question mark. In Lesson 9, we covered the le letters X, Z, the number 7, and the period. All right, let's do a quick review of those letters from Lesson 9. Grab your pencil and paper and start copying. All right, what you should have copied was XZ7 period, XXZ period, 7XZ period, 7ZZZ X period. All right, let's do a quick run with all the letters we've learned and all the numbers we've learned and the period just for review for this lesson. All right, get your pencil and paper, and let's copy. All right, what you should have copied was S Z P R E Y U Q G B V C period 72 J K Z X N D period 8 X X. All right, if you had trouble, go back and review. If you're ready, let's move on to the last number, the number 6. All right, the last number we're going to learn is the number six. Da, dit, 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 dit. So a da and four dits, the number six. 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 The number six. The number six. 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 All right, let's try a few numbers with uh, the number six in them. All right, copy this down. All 
All right, you should have copied down 789,664, 789,664. All right, let's try this one. All right, that was 76, 76. All right, one more. All right, that was 10,265, 10265. All right, let's move on to a little bit of a random run with the number six. All right, grab a pencil and paper and let's do a quick run featuring the number six. All right, what you should have copied was period 6 M N H 6 J 6 V 7 H 6 Z D 6 G 6 D 6 and a period. All right, if you felt pretty good with that and you did all right, let's move on to our next punctuation mark and that's going to be the comma. All right, the comma is another easy one to remember. It's just da, da, diddy, da, da. The comma, da, da, diddy, da, da. The comma. Be sure you're writing all these down, comma. Comma. All right, let's do a quick random sequence with just the two punctuation marks we know right now, the comma and the period. All right, grab a pencil and paper, copy these down. All right, what you should have copied was comma, comma, period, comma, period, comma, comma, period, comma, comma, period, period, comma, period. All right, if you felt good with the comma, let's move on to the slash. From my experience, the slash is the most commonly used punctuation mark next to the period when sending a Morse code transmission. Use it a lot, and it's a good one to remember. And you use it a lot more often in Morse code than you would in just normal writing. So the slash mark goes da, diddy, da, did.
the slash mark dot diddy dot dit slash. Copy all these down. Slash. 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 The slash. The slash. And that's the slash. All right, let's do a quick random run with just the punctuation marks we've learned so far, the comma, the period, and the slash. Grab a pencil and paper and start copying. All right, what you should have copied was slash, period, slash, comma, period, slash, comma, period, slash, period, slash, slash, period, slash, slash, comma, period, slash, period, period. All right, if you had trouble with that, go back and review the punctuation marks. If not, let's move on to the question mark. All right, the question mark is just the opposite of the comma. The comma is da, da, diddy, da, da. The question mark is diddy, da, da, diddy. All right, sounds like this. Copy all these down, the question mark. Question mark. Question mark. The question mark. Question mark. Question mark. The question mark. And now that we got the question mark down, let's do the random run for this lesson with the question mark in it and all the letters and all the punctuation marks and all the numbers that we've learned so far. This is going to take a couple minutes, so if you need to stretch out and pause the video for a little bit, go ahead. We'll do this for about a minute and a half, two minutes. All right, you ready? Let's get started.
and that's the random run for lesson 10. And now that you're done with the random run, you can check your sequence at thehandwhisper.com. Just go to the Morse code course at the top of the tab at the top of the screen. Click on it. You'll find this page's link or this lesson's link on that page. You click on that, and there you'll see the random one, the random run sequence rather. All right. So until lesson 11, the last lesson in the Morse code course. This is Andy, KE4GKP, saying 73, and I hope to hear you on the air soon.